episode 955, Total Eclipse of the Heart. Moms, needing a little inspiration and a ray of hope? You've come to the right place. This is the show that you can turn to for just the pick-me-up you need. This is Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Staring at a stop sign, watching people drive by. Happy, happy day. It is Tuesday, yes, and it is a bright day today. Did you make it through? Did you see the total solar eclipse? I bet it was a spectacular event. Well, for us, more story on that because today it's Inspiration Motivation Day and it's about total eclipse of the heart. Yes, we're going to expand this out a little bit longer because when you have these once in a lifetime moments, you got to talk about them more. For those of you who are brand new to Creation Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already haven't had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to createyournow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter, the Keep It Simple Strategy Everyday Solutions to Live, Love, and Impact. When you live in more darkness than light, you need a total eclipse of the heart. Something that will come into your heart and brighten every corner. We just experienced the total solar eclipse where the moon came between the sun and the earth. There was darkness. Darkness for a period of time. How much of your life is filled with darkness? The I'm not enough. I'll never amount to anything. I'm always the runner up. I can't do anything right. Why me? What's wrong with me? Why can't I get that job promotion? Why can't I do what this other person's doing over here that I I so long to be? What's wrong with me? How familiar are you with these statements? Maybe you said a few of them this morning. Maybe you looked in the mirror and said, you're not looking too good. You're looking older. Maybe you're looking a little bit heavier. Maybe you actually used a word fat and said you look fat. And you stood in your closet and you said, I have nothing to wear. And with school starting already, some of you have already been in school for now, maybe a couple weeks. Some are just beginning. My children go back this week. I'm not excited about it, honestly. I like to have them home. Maybe that's a mom being selfish, but I do love my children. But there's something about, you know, the, the pain that we feel. It's real. I'm not enough. I'm not worthy of whatever it is that you're searching for, whatever it is that you're dreaming about. Maybe those were some of the statements you said this morning. They're too familiar with you. It hits too close to home. Maybe you're even experiencing tears streaming down your face. Right now, I just want my marriage to work. I'm exhausted. I'm tired. I don't know what to do next. I don't know how to get through the day. I'm just barely making it by. And it's not about the finances. It's about the heart. One thing you are forgetting is at the end of the total eclipse, there is light. There's light. What is your light in the darkness? And I want to go one step further and challenge you. Whom is your light in the darkness? Have you been trying to do everything on your own? Are you relying on somebody else? Maybe even in your marriage, you're relying on your spouse to take care of everything, to take care of you, to provide. What is it? Whom is your light in the darkness? You know, I talk a lot about control. We like to control it. Are you trying to be the light in the darkness? Are you trying to mustard through everything that's thrown at you? Was I stood amongst the cloudy skies, rain spitting in my face, beginning to coat my yes freshly showered body. I thought, why did I take a shower today? There was no sign of the total solar eclipse. But when it was our time to view it, to actually see it, to experience it, the temperature dropped significantly. Now, granted, I was wet with the rain 
and the wind intensified. The rain hit my body even harder and the clouds began to shift. There was movement, but not enough movement for us to see the total solar eclipse. However, God was preparing a way even though I couldn't see it. The total solar eclipse was happening, but it was not of me, it was of him. Everybody else could view it in all different parts of the United States, but there I stood with my children, a pair of eclipse glasses ready to see. We even made the extra, you know, the total solar eclipse cereal boxes with aluminum foil. We had it all ready. And we didn't get to see it. Just gray, cloudy skies with rain beating down on our clean bodies. Temperature changing and shifting and us beginning to shiver as we're in shorts and tank tops. And my son says, well, there went that. Ten minutes of nothing. And I thought, no, baby, it wasn't. Number one, we spent time together. Number two, we know this is happening. This is God at work. Because we had the live streaming and we could watch it also. So we knew it was happening. But we couldn't see it. We had faith. There was something that was much stronger than our own control. God was preparing a way, even though we couldn't see it. The total solar eclipse was happening right before our eyes, even though we were not able to witness it. You want a different life. You want to experience something new. You want a new you, a soul on fire. You want to be able to get up in the morning and say, yes, this is my day. This is my time. Yeah, maybe I'm a little tired, but I am excited about today. I don't really want to do all of this hard work, but I'm looking forward to what's around the corner. You need a total eclipse of the heart. Psalm 51.10 says this, Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. There was nothing like the event yesterday having hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of thousands of people wanting to view the same thing. At this moment in our time, we were all connected. There was no question as to who was ruling what, where, what law was in place, what religion was being focused on? No, it was about something greater than us. It was God. You want something greater than you? You got to have a total eclipse of the heart. There's a bright light amidst the darkness that lingers. With God, nothing is impossible. My prayer for you today is simply this. Dear Lord, today create in me a pure heart, O God. Those who are listening right now, create in them a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within each of them, Lord. Give them your strength, your endurance, so they can train for life and love their journey and they can go about your dreams that you have for them. Lord, bless them with a total eclipse of the heart. Only the one that you can provide for nothing is impossible. It's in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Let God provide a total eclipse of the heart for you today. It's my prayer for you. It's not about deserving it. It's about because God wants you to have it. It's a gift, but you have to be willing to accept the gift. Yes, we stand in our own way, so don't set your feet on the ground every morning until you're ready to accept that gift. A simple, thank you, Lord, I don't know what it is, but 
Make me today. Give me a total eclipse of the heart. Show me what I need to see. I want to see through your eyes so it can bring glory and honor to you. It's not about me. There's something beautiful about God and it being a bright, beautiful day. Go out. Be present. Be incredible and be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.